Okay, good morning uh, to you all. Uh. I haven't been posting a video so much, uh, but S&P futures has been quite flat. Starting to trend slightly, very slightly upwards. It's still in that upwards momentum. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to show you the graph. Uh. Uh, it's the usual stuff that we, I do. Uh, it's still in that momentum where you are going to find it's still going up but it's still at the middle of the channel so i'm not going to touch it at all huh? okay i'm not going to touch it i'm not going to short i'm not going to do anything i will short when it is somewhere here 428 425 roughly there i'm going to start shorting i'm going to start selling all my stocks lah. okay now uh as you all know uh, it's uh, gonna be a holiday here soon so i started selling uh, my stocks uh, because i don't want to get a headache during my holiday i like to when i relax uh, i just like to relax a lot and i buy more of those uh treasuries uh, five percent yielding treasuries uh, like due in july or june uh, that kind of stuff i'm not gonna be putting a lot of money in the stock market for a while now NVIDIA, I am still 50-50 uh, on this stock lah. Right So SPY, NVIDIA, I'm going to cover a few stocks today I'm still 50-50 uh, I do believe that it's still got potential to go up technically But this is too steep for it to be able to keep going up So um, Looks like a head and shoulders, right? 1, 2, 3 It looks like a head and shoulders But let's see lah, let's see where it goes Okay, uh, if this doesn't go, is that this goes sideways for a while, then the trend is broken, then most likely it's gonna trend down slowly, uh, to a more reasonable price lah. Maybe one eighty is more reasonable, uh, I believe. Okay, so Nvidia we did the cover, uh, we gave it a hundred PE twenty five. It's only about hundred thirty dollars, eh. So we don't see where the hype is coming from lah. We don't really see the hype. Why is it so high? Maybe if you give it 200, yeah, 200 is still not enough. 250 lah. Yeah, 250 PE lah. Oh, that means you expect it to grow uh, 166% lah, lah, free give or take. And we think it's not achievable lah. Because 166% CAGR, that is crazy leh. Really, really nuts eh. Not, not joking one. Okay. We don't think it's achievable lo. But yeah, some people uh, when it's in fashion, the thing can go up. Like whatever that's overpriced can become more overpriced. We saw that during the COVID crisis. We saw that 2020-21 oh, happened to Peloton and a lot of the ARKK stocks. Lah. So don't, don't, don't underestimate the power of FOMO. Lah. The FOMO can make something overpriced even more overpriced. Lah. That's rule number one. Okay, don't fuck it up. Lah. Don't fuck it up. Remember, whatever that's overpriced can become more overpriced. For more matters. Uh. And it goes the other way around. Whatever that's underpriced can become underpriced. Even more underpriced. For more matters. Uh. Okay. So, uh, what are the stocks that I'm looking at? Uh, well, if you all follow my advice last time and bought Bank of America, Wells Fargo, we analyzed already, right? Okay. Buy the buy their preferred shares if you are scared. Buy the buy the shares, you would have earned at least about five percent lah. Not bad lah, five percent lah. That five six percent lah. Okay. Uh, in fact, my preferred shares on those things actually went up leh. Okay. Now I am after looking at the results. Uh, I see a few pockets of. Uh, wage inflation uh, Which I am Like Delta Airlines got this wage inflation Otherwise it's going to go up You know if No, no wage inflation uh. Okay So I still got Delta uh. I am not super bullish on it But I'm not super like that in either uh, The forward PE is actually about 6 to 7 uh. 6 to 7 That's why I buy these uh, I'm quite confident That it's gonna reach a 6 or 7 I think it's gonna recover lah, This one But it's not gonna recover Here anymore Maybe recover 47 Or 47 Or 42 lah. 
that is enough for me to take a decent amount of profit lah, right? Thirty percent profit. That is enough for me. Why cannot go up here? Because the cost, the variable cost, go up already. Like the wages go up, the pet, the 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 the, oh, the the fuel airplane fuel go up, stuff like that lah. A lot of nonsense lah. Okay. Now you can see there's extreme fear in the market lah when people are buying silver like nuts. So this is extreme fear already. Okay. And if you already got the silver, you want to hedge, you just keep it. If you are a trader, you can start selling it. Right? There's a pretty decent uh, resistance that's going on around here. Okay, I'm not selling mine. Just FYI, I'm not selling mine. I want to hedge my money, my, my money against uh, hard currency. So I'm not selling my silver. Okay, just, just to tell you all, uh, I'm not selling my silver. I will never sell my silver. Okay, I will never sell my silver. Never. Gold, yes. Silver, no. I don't know why. Don't ask me, please. Okay, I don't know why I never, never sell my silver. Oxy, this kind of stock, uh, already got Warren Buffet name inside. Don't buy. Too expensive. Okay. This is already the almost i think one of the highest lah for them to go up really so you buy this you won't get a lot of yeah you won't get a lot lah okay maybe you can go up to 80 low if you want but it's not going to be amazing lah that's what i think honestly speaking but well buffet is buffet you cannot underestimate that guy right you have to look at the debt profile and see how is it if it's if they are doing the right thing if they are deleveraging that is worth a buy okay the deleveraging part is very important it's very hard for a company to be that disciplined when they have a lot of uh, cash okay now uh, what stocks am i buying well i i told you already i took advantage of the banking crisis and bought wells fargo bank of america a bit here and there lah. I am not buying a lot lah. Okay. I believe they are going to be the main winners because all the deposits will run to them and they can charge higher interest rates. Right. While they pay very low interest. So they're going to earn a lot of money. Now, so far the earnings don't look, don't point to a massive, a major recession. Okay. They are not pointing to like the world is going to end, right? Nope. So I believe you still can buy stocks, especially those that I believe is still maybe underpriced by a bit. Lah. Okay. So one of these stocks, I believe uh, Macy's, I think still got chance. Lah. Macy's still got chance for it to go up. Okay. the stock huh? yeah I believe Macy's got chance to go up uh, natural gas still got chance to go up you know Bank of America yeah still got chance to go up a lot lah basically a lot of stocks have got a lot of chance to go up lah uh, Schwab not really interested in buying Schwab it should be priced uh, cheaper. A lot of people are actually... So you can see uh, there's a lot of sidelines money in the market. They are willing to pay for these, for these brands. Lah. Okay. That's why the market is... Uh, the US market is a bit overpriced. There's a lot of liquidity. They printed too much money and there's a lot of money in the sidelines. So the US market actually can go higher because of the liquidity. Okay. Basically, the stocks don't have to perform amazing, la. right? And already go up. Don't have to perform amazing. Already go up. Already go up. So U.S. market, I think, can go up. Okay. And why do I think this? I don't see a recession. I don't really see it now yet, la. 
the recession the thing. Okay, I saw the earnings and I think I don't see the recession coming lay. Okay, not yet lah. Okay, uh, but should you go all in? Uh, if you go all in on stock like Nvidia, you can go and die lah. Right? You can trade lah, but you don't go all in on Nvidia. Now. I see the stocks now uh, is like getting to that point. Uh, I cannot find like deals. Lay. I cannot find the deals that I want. I want. I want the stocks or the deals, the cheap stocks, no more. Okay. I don't find it anymore. That's why I'm going to fix income. But fixed income, I see. Really, I don't think the Fed is going to lower rates next year. If the lending is soft, lah. If there's no recession, like major recession or pain, the the Fed will likely not lower the the the, the rates. Okay. Now I want to see a few more uh, bank that report. Regional bank. And after they report, we analyze and we see lah if. They look bad. Then the 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 Fed will likely lower the interest rates. If they look like can luck, oh this one oh uh, yeah is 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 on 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 death bed already going to die already. Then the Fed will lower. If yeah you know they can take two or three years of losses. Uh, maybe the Fed says that right. Maybe they can take two or three years of losses. Then. Uh, you're gonna get uh, some pain in the ass, lah. Right? See, commodities, right? The big investors are also going to commodities. Same as me, lah. Right? China equities, I said already. You can own, but limit it. Okay. Why own now? Because it's cheap. Eventually, the government will buy it. If it goes too cheap, the government will buy. They don't want the shares to be like worthless. Actually, the shares are went down is actually their fault. So they crack down too much. They over crack down now. They need to. Ah, that's why I say this. You cannot crack down too much, lah. You crack down too much, everybody run away. That is one thing, you know. When everybody run away, the ah, it's very hard to persuade them to come back. Very, very hard. Because when they run away, they are they are they don't want to relieve that that period when you crack down on them. You see, Jack Ma not coming back. Jack Ma, why? Why Jack Ma not coming back? It's stressful. What? Why he come back for? Later I cannot crack down again. I don't dare lah. Okay, I don't want to talk too much lah. I give up. That's what he's gonna say, lo. You cannot crack down. You think so fun, me? I think. Yeah, I think like that only lah. I don't want to talk too much about the China part lah. But China is, I am still holding, but I am very, I'm controlling my risk lah. I hold so much China for what, right? Okay. It's a hedge lah. It's a hedge. BYD is still amazing, man. This one, this is one of the best call companies in the world. So I believe China is gonna be one of the best lah, one of the one of the most powerful companies in the world. Okay, and I think uh, if China China has the potential of becoming the reserve currency of the world, if they do something correctly, the certain thing correctly, they can become lah. But I don't think they want to leh. Let's see how the thing goes lah. Okay, they will be persuading China to float the the mimpi. So, the problem ah uh, with us now ah, uh, we are used to seeing like impactful news and impactful events ah, uh, such that we look at this ah uh, is like this is very boring, not much news. This is some small stuff happening. Okay. And yeah, that's the way it goes, lah. 
Now TSMC Guys, uh, TSMC is actually a very amazing company you know? It's like a monopoly uh, on a lot of the stuff But It is actually in a down cycle It's not supposed to be an up cycle you know? That's how crazy it is, it's still going up Okay Because it's a monopoly But I, 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 I don't think it's gonna go up forever Why? It got cycle one, right? It's just a bit of lag for 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 TSMC. Just a bit of lag, okay. For Nvidia, the main sellers they can feel it directly. Nvidia and Intel they feel it directly in AMD, but TSMC is the one that makes the chips for them. They feel it, but it's lag because hey, they tell Nvidia you still got orders. You cannot reduce your orders, man. You already book us. You gotta make. Otherwise, we won't produce for you next time. Okay. So TSM, I think, see, got the potential of a cyclical downturn, but it's a bit of lag, la. Let's see how it goes, la. Let's see how it goes. I honestly, I think Micron is a bit overcrowded trade. Don't touch Micron. Yeah, KK is actually very dangerous, la. Very, very dangerous. That's why I think the the the, the regulators want to stop it. That's all for today, la. Thank you very much.